What's up guys, just a quick announcement. I wanna let you know the RX-8 giveaway is ending in just a few days. So if you're thinking about it, you're on the fence, you are running out of time, guys. Check out the top link in the description. As always, get entered to win. It could be you. So every time I'm here at Mad Mike's headquarters, I'm always flabbergasted by the parts that are in this little row right here. I'm gonna take you guys down this row. If you guys are rotary nerds, you will absolutely geek out on what I'm about to show you, as I do every time. This is Mike's spare parts area. We've got everything from rumble, extra struts and shocks, heaps of NGK plugs. As you guys know, rotaries use a lot of plugs. Extra seat harnesses, handles for his routers to hold on to, a lot of extra springs, a bunch of extra Willwood product for repairs when things break or need shimmed. Uh, lots of nuts and bolts and hardware for that, extra pads, rotors, um, and components as well as fluids. k and keeps Mike pretty well stocked as well as they do uh, the hunt quarters with product. We've got our Turbo Smart products as well. Bunch of extra springs, heaps of them up here for different uh, spring weights as well as extra wastegates and blow off valves. Any good car guy that does a lot of cars has a lot of different wheel uh, spacers to do different fitments. Mike is a real big fan of Haraguchi at 326 power, so he has a lot of 326 power bits laying around as well. Spare gear sets. Oh, you recognize that handwriting? No, you probably don't, but that's my handwriting. Spare turbos from our friends at Garrett Motion. Uh, if you guys don't follow them on Insta, do so. They've got some killer content, extra alternators. Um, but where the really cool stuff is for me is right here. As you can see, there's a lot of blue and white labels. Hey, what's up, Mike? All right, so what's cool about all these blue and white labels is that basically what you have here on this shelf is basically a 20B three rotor engine sitting on the shelf complete. Full blue and white Mazda part labels. This is all the seals and gaskets for a three rotor rebuild, all the housings and all the other parts that it requires to make a three rotor. Pretty freaking dope. Not only does he have one, he has two. So this is another 20B, fresh, brand new parts. What we have here is all the parts and part numbers for a four rotor rebuild. And on this shelf as well. So count them, that's two three rotors and two four rotors on the shelf, brand new parts. Not many people have access to this level of, uh, of Mazda goodies. So it's kind of neat to see all this sitting in one place on a shelf. Uh, one other thing that I thought was really neat, and I'll go ahead and pull it down off the shelf, and mind you, these aren't things that anybody can just order. This is something that Mazda actually went back into production for, for Mike specifically. This is cool. Brand new in the box, three rotor upper intake manifold. How cool is that? That's something you don't see every day. And that's why I really wanted to bring this video to you guys because Mike has so many cool things just sitting around uh, waiting to be put into service that uh, it's a shame not to show it off a little bit uh, to the world. Ooh. Anyway, so that's Mike's parts haul at the shop. Um, you can imagine there's probably been some late nights in this shop where some of these sh parts have been pulled off the shelf in dire need to fix something. Uh, Mike is doing events all the time. So there's constantly something going on here at the workshop and that's why I was excited to spend an extra couple days here in New Zealand with him just to kind of shadow him around. Um, he's been gracious enough to let me stay at his house uh, for two nights, which has been great. I've got a really awesome chance to uh, learn about his children and spend this family time with Mike and his family who are awesome. Uh, Mike and Tony are one of a kind people uh, I've had the opportunity to spend the last couple days with Tony's parents as well, as well as uh, Jet and Lincoln, Mike and Tony's children. So, my heartfelt thank you goes out to them for welcoming me, welcoming me into their shop, to their event, and mostly into their home. Uh, it is definitely humbling for me, uh, Mike being a longtime friend of mine, I've never had this opportunity. He has stayed at my house in the States uh, on many of his trips over there. And uh, it's neat to share this with him. Anyway, I'll be done with the sappy stuff now. Let's get back to some cool other car content and uh, knickknack content around the shop. One thing you guys might have noticed in the shop is this staircase. It's kind of hidden behind cars all the time, but this staircase and this balcony uh, lead to one thing. 
And that is how Mike got his basic start in automotive. Not start, but he was always a motocross guy, got into cars after a few injuries. Um, but he started a sign shop called Create Graphics. And what we have up here is his graphics studio. This is where he does all of his vinyl production. Uh, he's running some really nice Mimaki equipment. Uh, it does printing and vinyl cut decals as well. As you can see, this is some of his livery de decals up here. Uh, some license plates for Rad Bull. Some miscellaneous Rotang Clan goodies up here. Um, but this is where he does all that work. Sign writing, they call it here in New Zealand. Uh, for those of us in the States, just uh, sign, sign making, I guess, is the best way to put it. But he has some sweet collectibles up here. Uh, Red Bull cans from all over the world, which is pretty cool. Oh, what do we have here? We've got a monster signed by Vaughn Gittin Jr. A rock star signed by Tanner Faust. Oh, and a NOS can signed by Chris Forsberg. Very cool. Dude, I didn't see your Formula D autograph collection up here, Mike. Your Formula Drift autograph collection? <laughs> yeah. Liberty Wakato autograph skateboard, that's really cool. His uh, vintage Ken Mary on there. Different Red Bull cans from around the world. Very cool. My favorite thing about Mike's sign writing shop is the view from above. Such a neat place. So that concludes the little tour of Mike's sign writing shop up here at the roof of the headquarters. One other thing that always trips me out is these dope 80s BMX bikes that Mike has on display. He's got his Hutch, 20 inch. It's Haro Sport, which is my favorite of the bunch. Thanks to John Buell Jenza Haro for hooking that one up. And then his old GT, um, I think it's an 89 World Tour GT. Uh, super cool to see those just kind of hanging about here at the shop. And they do get ridden around the paddock, which is pretty cool. So in the spirit of covering every car in the shop, um, there is a little Rad Bull mini version behind me that you guys have probably seen in the background of a bunch of the shots. And you're probably wondering what the heck that cartoon looking car is. And from what I know, I don't know everything about this, but I know that it was designed by Kimura from Rocket Bunny with Mike. Uh, it is a version of Rad Bull when it was first built. Uh, in a cartoon format and it was built for a Red Bull trolley race or like a go-kart race that Red Bull puts on um, It is not powered by any engine. It is actually Basically just a downhill type car um, So it doesn't have any running gear. It's just basically Nothing there to power it um, however, I do know that Mike did build this to at some point put a motor in it. I think he's talking about putting a Rotrex engine in it at some point so that it can just get putted around. Um, pretty cool little project. <laughs>
it is neat to see it sitting around the shop uh, as are all of Mike's cars are very unique and very cool this one actually has a little like 13 inch um, roadie forms on it in the four spoke format that uh, I believe were used on Rad Bull early on and uh, yeah just a neat little project the other car that is laying around here that you guys are probably seeing in the background is Mike's daughter's uh, McLaren. It is a little kid stance. Kid stance is a, an Instagram page and a guy that builds these little cars for kids. Um, so basically it starts out as like a McLaren Power Wheels and then he goes in and customizes the wheels, makes the wings. This one has a Liberty Walk body kit on it. Uh, the doors are scissor doors instead of uh, the standard normal traditional doors that come on these things they actually put little air struts in so they open that so that they open like a an actual mclaren door um it does have like full audio plug-in system so you can uh, listen to music and it does have radio control as well so that mike can actually walk behind the mclaren and drive it for his daughter if she gets tired or isn't being a good driver mike can actually override it with the controller so pretty cool little whip it's won a few awards at some events um but yeah those are the little obscure cars that are laying around here that you guys are probably wondering about mike also has a slew of uh, motocross bikes as well this is his daughter's bike it's his son's bike lincoln 321 is his number jet's number is 312 and mike's number as you guys know is 123 so kind of cool little family lineage. Um, they're all into motocross and it's just basically anything with a motor and wheels, especially a two stroke or a rotary. So that is the gamut of vehicles here at the shop. This place is so good. I hear the sounds of a raucous rotary motor. It's my boy, Brad, just rolling up to check us out in his spastic mobile. Sounds good. Yeah! Sounds so good. Anyway, I'm gonna put this camera down and go catch up with my homeboy. Brad joined us at Goodwood Festival of Speed two years ago. I made good friends with him and I've kept in touch ever since. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch up with him. I'll be back. Seal good? Seal clapped out. Yeah, it's, just, it's like it's stretched from heat. Dude. No, it's... These are real good, these rigs, Mallory. It's good old American sh mm. America. America! <laughs> <laughs> so Brad is one of Mike's old school homeboys. Oh, snap, that's sick. And a rite of passage with Mike and his, and his buddies is the old Rotan Clan logo, which is something that Mike and uh, his crew started, what, 93 or something? 1993. 1993. So nowadays, when the homeboys build a rotary car, they get christened with the Rotan Clan sticker, and Mike is in the process of trying to sort one out for Brad at the moment. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see what color they choose. Looks like red is the color of choice at the moment, but you guys can't tell in this video, the car looks black on camera, but it actually has like a, like a reddish, I don't know, is that even like purple almost at some angle there? I'm not sure what color it is actually, um, but yeah. Any color sticker will look good if you ask me. A few minutes later. Meet up with Brad, uh, got his uh, regulator fixed and not leaking gas all over his firewall anymore. He's taking the trip back home. He'll be back down in the morning because Mike has got some Red Bull ride alongs tomorrow. He's gonna come down and help out. So, getting the old team back together for a couple hours, it'll be pretty cool. Okay, we've got a bunch of tires to fit uh, for the event tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with Mike real quick and uh, we'll wrap this up here shortly. All right, so the place where we entered is where we're gonna stop 
this little tour. There's so much in here I could probably go on for hours. There's so many trinkets in here that I'm pretty sure Mike could tell stories for days. I mean, he's got some of the raddest books I've ever seen. So here's all the Speed Hunters collections. Um, those are basically photo books and they are amazing. Um, and some really awesome motorsports books in here as well as the, the Magic uh, about Senna 0 to 60 by Tony Quinn who owns this racetrack that we're at here um, and I really like this Never Stop Challenging book um, from Mazda which is basically the story of the 767 787 and basically the racing history of Mazda which is super dope um, massive photographs in there and a lot of history something I wish I had time to read I'll probably end up ordering that one at some point and have it at home uh, Basically this shelf here is Mike's racing helmets from over the years. Uh, this is a motocross helmet with a super sick visor, Red Bull visor by Scott. Um, has the, the two bowls on the center, which is really sick. Here's a few uh, models that Mike's collected over the years. This is his Ripu that he built and uh, somebody made a new container for it basically. Uh, here's a replica of Tony's, uh, Mike's wife's Tony's um, MX-5 Miata with the Rocket Bunny kit, which is pretty cool. Uh, ooh, that color looks familiar, doesn't it? Looks like the same color on my RX-7. Uh, a couple more awards up here, and a few more helmets. Um, if you guys haven't seen Mike's helmets, there's so much detail on these things, it's ridiculous. That's Senna right there. Senna's car, um, Senna's face, ghosted in. Um, Sick flake on here. Goodwood Festival of Speed Tech sick sticker. Mad Mike 123. And ghosted into this image is actually Senna's helmet design as well, which is pretty cool um, in Mike's traditional Red Bull colorway, which is pretty dope. Um, I wish I could get this thing to focus in on all these details for you. So sick. This is one of his first helmets. This is the helmet from uh, US Formula Drift the second year we were there. I remember that helmet, I carried that thing around a lot. Uh, I'm trying to find, this is the helmet that he wore uh, the first year in Formula Drift. It has it's like a bomber or gunner style helmet uh, design that also has the Red Bull um, sort of um, what would be blue and silver but alternating uh, ghosted in but it's just black and gray. Uh, what I like is the dog tag details on here that comes in and out of these holes, which is obviously fake, but uh, has his name and everything uh, painted into the helmet. Pretty sick. Gotta love the details. And he has a lot of fan artwork. Um, this is a mural that a fan sent in to Mike um, that he made of a, like a drifting scene of an FD and Mike's Ripu drifting away. Obviously, Red Bull fridges galore around here. But one of the tables I think in here that Mike is most proud of, these are all his carbon fiber um, trophies from Formula Drift Japan. And the overall series winner trophy, which he won this year, 2018. Um, man, what a year. Second place, first place, winner of the whole series, first place, first place, second place. Um, amazing. So. There's things in here I could go on for days, but uh, I'm going to conclude the tour of the office now. What an amazing trip this has been for me. I'm heading back tomorrow, um, but the hospitality that I've been given while I've been here in New Zealand has been amazing. Thanks to Mike and Tony Widette for that, and uh, I guess I'm going to sign off now. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tour and a little bit of what I did today here at the shop. Um, if you guys don't already follow Mad Mike Wadette on socials, you can follow him at Mad Mike123 on Instagram, Mad Mike Wadette on Facebook, or you can find him on YouTube at Mad Mike Wadette. Give him a follow, support the man, he's always doing cool shit. That's a great way to end the video. That's about all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much. Please leave us some comments down below what you think. Thank you so much for your subscription. Peace out. You. Yo, Victor, this is for the thumbnail, bro.